Clint Gilbert, I'm with the President of the Louisiana Trumps of the And I want to thank the old people for having me. We've got an opportunity to comment. I made comments already this morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read from this, and I have these parts uh, to kind of show what I'm talking about. The Louisiana Trump Association supports the no action alternative to the EIS and opposes any actions by NOAA to impose any additional regulations or equipment that would apply to southern Trump fisheries for problem reasons. Number one, uh, low sea table stranding mortality levels prior to the EPR disaster uh, April 20th of uh, last year. NOAA's own data reflects that Gulf sea turtle stranding were low uh, up to the BPR disaster. Even these low stranding numbers cannot all be contributed to the Gulf uh, fishery. Natural mortality, uh, oil, industry related death, uh, vessel strikes, red tide events, and diseases are just some of the causes of sea turtle mortality. And if you look at this chart, you see that this is page 15 of the intent to sue by a biological, set of biological diversity and three other groups that filed the intent to sue uh, in a way that some put the same motion. All we'd like to use is 2003. 2003 is when we had to come in with a different type of material school device. Said a bigger one. At that point, uh, uh, Kent Ridley was looking like they were going to come back, so these groups felt that we needed bigger tents and they used the, uh, the uh, leatherback turtle, so we had to pull bigger tents off the water. But you look and see, in 2004, the number was 36, which is Gulf Y. That's the whole Gulf of Mexico. Uh, next year, 20, 30, 31, 57, 76. But look at 2010, 600. 600. Then in 2011, uh, 278 at the end of April. At the end of April, you guys know what you're doing at the end of April. I don't have to tell you what you're doing. You wasn't doing nothing. You were just working on your boats. You were fixing your nets. Very few people were. <laughs> Number two, sea turtle nesting sites and nesting female numbers were steadily increasing. Uh, gentlemen, Mike spoke about that. Uh, everything that we were doing was working. For example, Kevin Ridley, sea turtle. Sea turtle deaths in 2009 were in excess of 20,000, which represents about 8,000 deaths of females. In the mid 80s, when I was starting, there were less than 800 deaths. So we went from 800 to 8,000, uh, uh, 20,000, I'm sorry. So, you know, whatever we're doing, we're working. And estimates prior to the BPL deaths were the population would grow from 12 to 16 percent per year. Coming into 2010, that's where we were at. That's what we were doing. That's what the shrimp industry, the gold shrimp industry was doing. Everything was coming up. Everything was working fine. The goal for down the list of Kent Ridley sea turtles from endangered to threatened was only 10,000 nested females. Uh, 2009, we were 8,000. Uh, the prediction was that by 2015, they'd be taken off and named uh, a list. Number two, no, number three, reduced trump effort. Again, this is a chart. This is not, this is not my data. This is, this is no data. It's all on their website. The offshore shrimp fisheries in 2009 was more than 74 percent less than a 2001 2003 average. 74 percent. What do you guys see this? 74 percent. You know, that translates to me is people that I know, my friends, my family, people I've been traveling all over the Gulf Coast for the last few years, talking to, losing their business, losing their boats, uh, giving up the right to be able to fish free like we always so I think we've given up enough. You know, we've, we've worked on this, we've given up enough. Reduce fishing effort during the EP office that. Says how the clock is fired on April 30th. Uh, and everybody knows what went on the clock is fired. And all the first are coming in. We couldn't fish. The place was being shut down. This was to go on for, I call it 89 days of hell. And, and we had bigger problems than this 
down in Foodville West trying to get on a job. People were not fishing. So all these numbers that are being attributed to us in, in, in April, you know, last year, we weren't even working. Our fishing effort uh, speaks for itself, you know. Uh, South Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, all the laws on the river we went to last year. And to go work all the response and once they were able to get on a job. So the fishing effort was way out. <coughs> so what changed? You know? Here we are, we got this record. Uh, it's been quoted by several of the agents I spoke to coming in 2009 that we were 97% compliant. This is an NOAP. 97% compliant on our on our TED, uh, uh, you know, TED, uh, excuse me, TED and that. What changed? What happened? What changed? BP. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a picture of the turtle swimming in the oil. We've seen it a lot of times. We've seen it a lot of times. You know that we've never seen it in the oil. We know what did it. So, what's the difference? I mean, what's the difference? What happened? 200 million over, I like to say over 200 million gallons of oil, over 2 million gallons of toxic dispersion. You know, that's the, you know, that's what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. And BP, that's the real call. You know, we're being blamed right. for what happened last year in the Gulf of Mexico. And decisions made by BP and our federal government. Decisions by BP and the federal agents to make the trade-off. I'm sure you guys heard them say a lot of times, trade-off. Uh, when we opposed the use of the first plan, we were approached by every agency here, including them, saying it was a trade-off. It was a trade-off. Keep it off the beach. Uh, kill the ocean, save the beach is a big part of why we lost so much marine life and continue to lose marine life to right now and in the future. Uh, you know, we will we will see a lot more than this. It's not over we get I my long shot. For all these reasons and many more, and that's the today, we say shrimp fishermen are not guilty. We're not guilty. Everybody got their day in court. We did not only prosecuted, we did sentence her. We had a lot to get sentenced before we even got our day in court. Uh, we do not support any change of regulations to protect the native sea devils. We have put up, put it up, we've done enough, we sacrificed enough. We need to go put the blame with it. 